is the 797 the perfect aircraft? The 797 is an aircraft that has sparked rumours for years now, and it seems as the weeks pass, we just get closer and closer to that official release date. After Boeing officials teased the aircraft at the Singapore Air Show, reports have emerged that we could see an announcement at the Farnborough Air Show this year. But despite all this, it still begs the same question. Actually, maybe two. Firstly, is the 797 the perfect aircraft? And then secondly, do we need the 797? I'll be addressing the second question at a later date. Oh, and also, as the 797 hasn't technically been released, rather than showcased five rendered images just for the entirety of the video, I'll be showcasing Boeing aircraft throughout. So, if you don't like Boeing aircraft, might I suggest you close your eyes? Think of the video as a podcast, and it might be a bit better for you. So immediately when you think of the 797, there is a thought that would come to mind. Usually it'd be your brain speculating the design, the length, maybe the capacity, and so on. The 797 is rumoured to be in the 200 to 300 seat market at this stage. This is according to multiple reports. But you know, Boeing could surprise us and have a 1000 seat aircraft, which would make this video look pretty idiotic, so please Boeing, maybe stick to that 200 to 300 seat aircraft for my case. This seat market has been in high demand, and that's the 200 to 300, not the 1000 one, to clarify, for some time now, with more and more airlines opting for these smaller, more efficient aircraft, rather than going all out for, let's say, an A380 or a 747-8. So it makes sense for Boeing to feel the need to launch another aircraft in this seat market. Airbus have been killing it recently with the introduction of the new A320neo family aircraft, and Boeing also released their new 737 MAX family, set to compete with the A320neos, and it's important not to mention them as well. Now in this 737 MAX family, there's multiple variants all serving different purposes for different airlines. The MAX 10, for example, is a type I want to focus on now. This variant is set to sit um, around 192 passengers to 232 passengers, depending on the classes and configuration various airlines will opt for. And again, they'll be choosing these uh, classes based on what they need this aircraft to do for them. But it just doesn't perfectly sit that 200 to 300 people that airlines have been screaming out for. Airbus have the A321neo and other different variations like the Airbus Cabin Flex and the Long Range. The capacity for the Airbus Cabin Flex one is around 240 passengers, with the Long Range variant holding 169. Once again, while you could say the Airbus Cabin Flex does fit in this market, it still doesn't go up to 280 or 290, and the Long Range one is completely out of the question. I mean, I haven't even talked about the A322 or 22, which at this stage is the name or numbers for the rumoured stretch of the A321. Could we see this come into existence if Boeing released the 797 as some form of competition? It'd certainly be interesting, but I'm not too sure on that, especially with all the effort Airbus have been going to with their A321s. However, with the Boeing 757 being such a successful aircraft and an immense workhorse with multiple airlines, it hasn't been any shock that aircraft manufacturers have been trying to replace it for the past decade. But one could argue it just hasn't really happened. Sure, an aircraft like the A321neo or the 737 MAX 10 can be a success, but for some airlines it just isn't what they're looking for. And instead, they've been holding out for that perfect replacement or simply only ordering a small number of the 737 MAXs and A321s, as well as holding out for that new replacement that will eventually be coming. So could the 797 fit this market? I'd like to personally think so. During the Singapore Air Show, Boeing stated that Qantas were interested in the aircraft, with a key focus mainly on what it could do for Australian aviation. There have been other airlines rumoured to be interested, with Boeing possibly pitching it at a host of airlines in America, but Qantas has been our most recent rumour of the past couple of weeks. Now this may not be significant to some, but with a little bit of research, their interest in the 797 is actually brilliant for, for Boeing as well, not just Qantas. Qantas operate about 68 Boeing 737-8 through various domestic flights and the odd flights to New Zealand and Southeast Asia yet they have no orders for the newer 737 MAXs. Not odd, but it is something to keep in mind. 
Boeing have said that they plan to have two variants of the 797, with one seating just under 300 passengers, and the other around the 230 mark. So similar to the A330neo family with Airbus, as they only have the two variants as well on that specific aircraft. This would be perfect for multiple airlines' needs, with I presume the smaller capacity 797 possibly offering more range to airlines. However, that's just me speculating, and I could be completely wrong on that. Boeing and other sources have also hinted that the 797 would hold a good 100 more passengers than the 737s, depending on configurations. Yet they could still be applied to routes that the current 737s operate on. And that's why I was saying Qantas operating the classic 737s is pretty significant, because they could still use these 797s on those particular routes. To me, this opens up a whole new batch of airlines that may be interested in an order for the aircraft. Not only would it work for crowded routes like Melbourne to Sydney in Australia and release the stress off, let's say, their older 737s, but it could also open up huge possibilities for airlines within Europe and Asia. We'll begin with Europe, especially low-cost carriers that haven't opted for the A320neo or 737 MAX jets, or ones that just feel the 797 could still be a good addition to their Neo and or Max fleets. Within Asia, it could also deal with the huge growth. With the added capacity element, as we briefly touched on with the Melbourne to Sydney flight, highly populated routes would reap the benefits from this particular aircraft. The 797 can also be an interesting option for airlines within Asia. As I touched on in a previous video, I looked at how many aircraft were needed in the Asia-Pacific region. The number was sitting at around 16,000 aircraft by 2036. Now I doubt all airlines would opt for the likes of the A320neos and 737 Maxes, so could this 797 be the perfect aircraft? For me, it depends really. I could half say that it will be beneficial to airlines across the globe, but I can also say no it won't. My opinion comes from the demand for these sorts of aircraft and the current competition. I feel like an aircraft of this capacity would be ideal for select markets only, a bit like the 757. It was more prominent throughout America than let's say Belgium. Probably not the best example, but hopefully you kind of get where I'm coming from. Recapping uh, this video in a whole, I could certainly see a huge demand for this sort of aircraft throughout Asia, Europe, and possibly parts of America. As for Australia, I'm still not 101% sold on it. I feel like it'd be really only beneficial on a few routes within Australia, and when I really think about it, it may just be Melbourne to Sydney. However, if reports are correct and this aircraft could also be used on flights to Southeast Asia, it may also serve another purpose rather than just operating domestic flights and then could reap huge benefits for an airline like Qantas, Virgin Australia, Tiger and so on. Either way, I'd honestly love to hear your thoughts on this. Feel free to let me know where you believe an aircraft like the 797 would thrive and maybe while you're at it, also let me know where an aircraft like the 797 simply wouldn't thrive and would just fall through. I'd like to thank you all for watching another one of my videos. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Oh, well,